Hi, my name is Ben Secret. I'm a designer and retoucher based in London. And today I'm going to be showing you a couple of processing tricks we can do with channels in Photoshop. First up, we're going to load an image into Photoshop. Heading over to the channels palette, we can see our image on the top as a full colour composite, all broken down into its separate red, green and blue channels. We can select these channels individually, or in any combination, and we can manipulate and process them independently. For example, we can physically offset a red channel against the blue and green, creating a sort of 3D glasses effect. And we can produce retro colour processing effects like the two strip technicolor process by copying the contents of the green channel onto the blue channel. But for this example, we're just going to go back and create a copy of our red channel. We can do this by right clicking on it and selecting Duplicate Channel. We can see this has now given us a copy of our colour channel as an alpha channel. And this sits quietly underneath our colour channels, where it won't affect the full colour image at all, but instead acts as a permanently accessible and editable selection. So now go back to the Layers palette, and we're going to create a backdrop for our image. So create a gradient adjustment layer. Edit the gradient and select a preset with quite a few colours. Now go back and set it at a 45 degree angle. On top of this layer we're going to create a white solid colour adjustment layer. This is going to act as a sort of generic fill which we can mask and change at any point later. So now we need to retrieve our selection from earlier. So we go back to the channels and we can see our alpha channel still at the bottom. And all we need to do is command click if you're on a Mac or alt click if you're on a PC and we get that back as a selection. Going back to the layers palette, an easy way to turn this selection into a mask is to select the mask layer and simply invert it while our selection is active. And we can do this with Command I for a Mac or Control I for a PC. And then get rid of the selection by deselecting or clicking somewhere else with the marquee tool and invert the mask layer again. So now we've got this stylized image, it's simply a layer of white overlaid onto a gradient. And we've got this stored imprint of the source image deciding how much of each we're seeing. If we turn off the visibility of our gradient, we can get the source image showing through instead, and this gives us a sort of bleach bypass look. But we can turn the gradient back on and use its opacity control to fade the effect in as a colour tint. Now there are quick ways to create the same effect, but like with most things in Photoshop, going a slightly longer route and using adjustment layers and masks for everything gives us a lot more control. 